Yeah, I'm not going to grab them. Cheers. 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 has got on down.
evening everybody moment because our Wi-Fi signal is terrible so I do apologize Just trying to get the best signal and I'm absolutely pulling my hair out then there's absolutely nothing we can do just pull our hair out that's what I do anyway Unfortunately, the Norfolk Bowling Club is just I might just, just pack up. It's just the connection is absolutely awful. Sorry? Unfortunately, it's just one of them things you have to rely on the signal. Oh, well, very good. Just lose it. No, we're still old one. If Ian, if Ian's going, he's going to push the jack back to your other bowl anyway. There's still a draw either side. They're both that far past. We'll still draw either way. Well, all we can do is try. I've made a few little tweaks. So. What a head of balls that is. It's a shame because this is I'm really sorry, I might have to just move down here a little bit just to try and test it for a little bit. Oh, I'm not connected. Um, 
Well, please bear with us because I'm just trying some different locations for the router. my very best everybody I do apologize but when it comes to the Wi-Fi signal that is out of my control I'm afraid Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. 
right. Well, I'm going to persevere for now and just do our very best to get through this. And then I think after today's stream, I'm going to have to reconsider the places that I go to actually stream because where we are right now. If anybody wants to stop watching tonight's stream, then I fully understand. we can at least get a little bit of a steady signal then I can start to commentate on the game but at the moment I'm just going to have to wait and see Great ball, what play. Very good, Dan. Second word, 18 inches here. Oh, nice you can oh, like, draw in there if you like. On the other mile, you make another point. Push for second down. I think this might be trying to tag more up just underneath. Oh, just trying to go on that. Yard, you good. Hurry. Hurry, Dan. Great effort. Well done. Pace is really good. Another second. You've only got a dead drawer in there to try under this one, under that, and drop oh, yeah, off the last yeah, hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Think you're wide enough, is it? Yours to use, mine to push up. Down well. Yeah, you're close there. Oh. Finished well there. Good. Yeah. Don't, don't step back. <laughs>
Sounds a very inappropriate conversation. <laughs> very inappropriate. <laughs> look very good um, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get a very good stream tonight I mean you're going to be able to view it but it's just not going to be a very good viewing experience because it's, it's just dropping in and out I will continue to try to come back here and stream anymore unfortunately so I think tonight is the last time I'm going to be able to come to the bowling club
I'm very sorry, sorry everybody. Yeah. Do is reconsider coming back to the Norfolk Bowling Club. Unfortunately, I think for the foreseeable future, night stream, but I didn't even get a chance to do anything because the stream has been has been going up and down. But the good news is I've tested the and it worked out quite well. So moving forward, the next stream that I do, I'm going to try to do it. That's what we're going to do next. But if I can't even get a signal on my mobile phone using one phone here at the bowling club, then I've got no chance. I think I have improved it slightly. What I've done is I have disconnected my router and now I am running this stream directly from my phone mobile data. The phone's mobile data, so uh, yeah, well played, Ian. Oh, it's gone down again. Here we go. Here we go again. It doesn't seem quite so bad if I just use my mobile data, but it isn't very good. It still isn't brilliant.
Great ball, Ian. So, let's see if we can do a little bit of commentary and watch the game for at least a couple of minutes without it going down. So what I've done is I've moved the tripod back where I was last week and I've turned my router off. So now I'm just using my mobile data. But all this means is that I can't use my router. It just means I can't use my router if I ever come to the bowling club because I've just got zero signal and I have to do everything from my phone's mobile data, which is just not sustainable. So moving forward, I don't know what we're going to do about the games here. I will have a think when I get home tonight after this very frustrating game, or live stream rather. The game's actually very, very good. There's some there's been some absolutely brilliant heads, but I've not been able to do anything. I've not been able to commentate on anything. Uh, so, so far, they have played seven ends, and the score is 9-1 to Mervyn and Sam. So, Mervyn King, Sam King, Ian Wones, and Danny Roundsbottom. So if you didn't quite hear what I said a few minutes ago regarding the streams, I do actually have some good news. During the week, we tested our new setup. Uh, good bowl by Dan. Yeah, let's finish well there. So during the week, we tested our new setup with two cameras. I tested it at Akel, my club, and it actually worked quite well. We had a good signal and and we used our new software and uh, everything was, was running quite well. There's a, a couple of things we need to address but uh, apart from that, yeah, everything actually went okay. Great effort. He's just, oh, after all that, he's still two down. What an effort. So I was going to say that tonight's game from my mobile phone is possibly going to be the last stream that I do just from my phone on one end. What an effort this is. Oh, he's just gone across. Oh, dear. Oh, it looks like still two. So what I was going to try and do is organise another game to stream at Akel and then test out our double camera setup and then see how that goes. So if I can do that next week, that will hopefully be the first stream that we do when we have a camera either end of the rink, which will be brilliant, It'll be a, a game changer. So. That should be coming up in the next week or so. So I don't think I'm going to be doing any more streams just from one phone anymore. And what an effort this is by Sam. Uh, great effort. So 
So it looks like Ian and Dan are holding two shots. And two shots that they really need at the moment because they're 9-1 down. But still plenty of ends left to play. They're only on seven ends, so they pick up a two. Yeah, and uh, the score is now 9-3. So yeah, the uh, the double camera setup is very, very close. We're almost there. So I'm going to be doing a test run. I'm just going to do a live stream game. I'm just going to basically live stream an actual game. Maybe next week if I can. And then set two cameras up and, uh, and then just go from there. But I just want to give someone a little bit of a shout out on I don't know if he's listening to not, to tonight's game Glenn Gardiner he's been helping me set up the the streams well I say the streams I mean like the twin cameras and everything because there's software that you need and me and Glenn have been working on it over the last couple of months so I just want to say a thank you to Glenn for helping me out he helped me down at the uh, Yarmouth Bowls Festival as well. But yeah, it's always nice to have a little bit of a helping hand now and again. He's been, uh, he's quite good with the software. So between me and him, we managed to crack it during the week. We were just going through it all. And uh, he might be able to give me a hand moving forward, but we will see. I don't like to rely on many other people because, you know, it isn't really fair. But Glenn did say that, He's available to give me a hand now and again. So, yeah, if I do need him, I'll have to give him a shout. So I may need him to sit on the computer if I'm actually playing a game or something, but we'll see. But, yeah, he's he's been a big help over the last couple of months. So the score is now 9-3. 9-3 to Mervyn and Sam. <laughs> and another thing that I will possibly be doing at some point is when we get the twin cameras all in place I'm also going to go out and buy two gimbals as well so on top of each tripod either end I'll have a gimbal and then the phone will be in the actual gimbal so what will what that will allow us to do is to remotely control the zoom from my laptop so I can then zoom in and out from each phone, each end of the rink. So if anyone was in the way, or if they cast a long jack or short jack, you can zoom in and out. So that's going to be another huge improvement to our streams. But that will be coming at some point over the next couple of months. But the first thing to do is to get a camera at either end. And as I said, that will be coming up for our next stream I reckon it will be on our next stream I'm just going to go and do a live stream and if it all goes completely wrong and it's a complete catastrophe then it's one of them things uh, so we might as well just do a live stream I'll set two cameras up run the software and away we go and then if any little problems that we find along the way I'm sure we can solve them But as you found out today, 
the main issue is always the Wi-Fi connection. It's always the Wi-Fi connection. If we can get a good enough signal, then you're 99% there. Everything else you can just improve and you can buy equipment and improve things as we go. So not a very good start today for tonight's stream, I do apologise. To be honest, this is, I think tonight is our 39th or 40th stream. And I would say tonight has probably been the worst out of all the streams we've had since the 7th of July uh, when it comes to the connection. I think tonight is probably the worst, so it's not bad. You know, the first disaster of a start we've had in, in 40 streams. I don't think that's too bad. But yeah, moving forward, there's always things we can improve on. But this game tonight, yeah, this is the uh, National Men's Pairs. This is only, I think, the first round. But I thought this would be a really good game to stream and it's proven to be a very good game. I mean, the score, I don't really think the score completely reflects the game at the moment because some of the headers they've had have been incredible. So score is 9-3. Sam and Merv are 9-3 up. And Ian and Dan picked up a two on the last end. Thank you, David, and thank you, Lynn. Yeah, I am doing my very best to promote bowls, especially around Norfolk anyway. Uh, yeah, I feel like most of the time things go okay. But as I said, unfortunately, we have to rely a little bit on technology and the Wi-Fi signal, and that, unfortunately, is just out of our hands sometimes. There's nothing we can do. But this is the 40th stream tonight. So Sam and Merv are holding one by the looks of it. Phil Richards, yeah. Thanks, yeah, signal definitely got better. Yeah, well, as ever since I've turned my router off, I think my router was what was causing the problems. It was just not stable at all. So what I've done is I'm now running the stream directly off my phone, off the mobile data. And I will be honest, it's awful. I've probably got less than one meg upload, but you know, it seems to be holding enough to be able to stream the game. But moving forward, I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> yeah. I know, Stephen Stokes, yeah. You have the patience. The camera would have been through the windows by now. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, I know. Don't even go there. Uh, pulling my hair out for the first half hour. I probably walked around this, air, this end, this uh, seating area. I probably tried the Wi-Fi router in about 19 different places and it didn't work in any of them. So yeah, I almost got the hammer out and stood on it. But, uh, but there you go, it's one of them things.
So I think Merv and Sam, well, they were holding one, so we'll see who picks them up. Well, well, that is a big change. Well done to Ian and Dan. So they pick a two up. So I must have missed that. I do apologise. I think I was in the middle of a bottle and I must have missed that. So Dan must have done something with his last bowl. What he did, I don't know, but it doesn't make too much difference. They picked up a two. So they're back in this game now. So 9-3 is the score. Ah, uh, great start, Ian. Well played. Uh, David just says, uh, will the fibre be best for Router? Well, to be honest, David, um, I've got an EE SIM card in my Router, and that's worked really well. I mean, as long as I've got a signal... Yeah, well played, man. Great ball, great reply. When I live streamed the game last week at Gallo. That was that was from my router and that was a really good signal. I live streamed during the week from Akel and that was from the router. Oh what an effort that is. So I think a lot of it really depends on the network that you're with and also what means you have to actually try to get the best signal possible. Oh, another great effort by Mervyn. Ah, oh, well played. Tucked it around the corner. Well played. So as I was saying, a lot of it depends on the actual uh, modem or the router that you've got. Because if you've got a good enough router oh he's just going to pull up again if you've got a good enough router then that kind of uh, extends the signal from the sim card it kind of amplifies it otherwise all of these different routers that you buy if they were all the same they would all be the same price but some of the routers you can buy are like almost a thousand pounds other routers are like you know 25 pounds so yeah it isn't it isn't a case of they all work the same. I spent £320 on my router. So you do stand a much higher chance of receiving a much stronger signal if you've got a good router. And that's what I've done. I've invested in a decent router. But that's all you can do. So another great head of bowls, as you can see. So score is 9-5 to Mervyn and Sam. After nine ends. What's another great ball? Yeah, another. Yeah, well played. Well, I think I know what Dan's going to do here. Yeah, I think they're going to step back because... Uh, there's nothing else Dan's going to do here apart from come straight down the middle. First bowl, open it all up. Well, not quite as much weight as I thought, but there we go. What's he got? Well, yeah, so we took one bowl out, so there are only two down now. <laughs> so Sam, is he in the area? Well, his, his pace was very good. His pace looked bang on. Yeah, 
Yes, that's finished very well there. Our best back. Certainly not wasted there. Yeah, that's a good point. He doesn't want to be into this now because he's got two balls left and he's going to use one of them to open everything out. To be honest, in this situation, with, with Dan's last bowl, I don't think he's got much more than just a draw because either that or if he just plays just over, just to, just, just to promote one of uh, the green bowls because if he happens to push that jack through, then uh, they're in trouble. So yeah, he's going to be four or five down if he pushes that jack. I would almost be tempted to draw that because if he happens to hit that short green onto the shot bowl you're almost going to be cracking an egg and that jack is going to spring all the that's going to spring at least six or seven inches I think even even with just a couple of feet of pace and then uh, they're going to be three down so at the moment they're two down and it just depends what he fancies here certainly not an easy shot yeah sometimes you just sometimes you just have to uh, accept that if you, if you drop a two then that's going to be better than dropping a four or five Well, two to Sam and Mervin. Well, we had a bit of a disastrous start to the game. Let's see if we can have a, a good end to the game. Means 
The only other thing I can do is come up here during the day when it's quiet. Just test various areas. Put my camera down that end because yeah. I mean, you never know. I mean, ring two might be quite good. Yeah. Yeah. You just don't know. I mean, unlikely. But until I test it, um, it's a bit hard. I've not got a signal from my router. I'm yeah, limited yeah. to what I can do. It looks like. I can do, I can run this from my phone, but I'm only going to be doing it, I can do one end. And that's it. I can't, I can't do anything else. Which, which just means that I'm going to be restricted. There are, I mean, there are options, but it's just not uh, it's not the same as the other ones. Yeah, it's just not the same I mean, what you have where everything comes from. Well, I did have a and he did say that you know, But, you know, I said to him, it's not something that I'm going to ask anyone to know. That's right. Because that's not my position to say that. No, I've got my own router, and it's just a shame that. It's just a shame I've got a. The signal is uh, it's, it's, it's not very good because that's obviously the, the mask. So that's, that's no one's fault. No. That's not no one, no one's fault in the club. But I don't even know if I would be able to get a good internet signal here, even if you asked to, to have my burden because some areas are just not. Yeah. Some some areas you can't have fibre, you can't have burden. Yeah, we have fibre here. I don't even know if it's in this area, but no, that's what I mean. I don't see it, I don't see any digging up the place. Yeah, that's what I mean, I just don't know if uh, because that's even be, an option. It might be fibre to their um, telephone box, which is on the other side of the place. Mm -hmm. Just as you come in. Yeah. But it might not be fibre, can okay. you? I mean, I now know, tripod there, on my own mobile data, you can get a signal. I can't use that. It's weird. But it just means I can't I can't stream anything. I can't stream both ends of it because I don't have a few stream of signal. So you, you take one of them up there, you're buggered. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well you see that's that's my mobile data. Yeah. I would need to use that as a hotspot. Yeah. I cannot that phone to that phone. I don't know if that would be good. Yeah. But that still wouldn't do any good because I would need a signal <laughs> computer. Maybe I can connect to the Wi-Fi. There you go. Connect the Wi-Fi and be good enough for your laptop. Yeah, I know, but, but they all need to be on the same one, you see. On the same network? Yeah. I think. Um, I think yeah, I think, I think they all need to be on the same one, I think. Some people have just gone. I, I, I reckon we've got more than 100 by now. Yeah. Uh, we have 169 for what the problem's going Seems to be like the mixed pair. It seems yeah. to be one of the most popular. Mixed pair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. People love watching the mixed pair. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
Um, I think I think Ian and Dan are holding one. I think. So it looks like Ian and Dan pick up another single. I think with Dan's last bowl, I think he was playing into that with a bit of pace, trying to push that jack through. Uh, great start, Ian. Brilliant start. Back toucher. Cool. What a reply this is. Oh, dear. Mervyn is trying again here. What an effort. He's just going to go over. Well, another one in there. Oh, great ball by Ian there. If he just sits on his own. Yeah, could be. And the great bowl. So score at the moment 11 6 to Sam and Mervyn. So there's only five shots in it now. Well, Mervyn's trying here. Is he going to get back? What an effort this is. Oh, dear. Oh, doesn't look too bad to me. Doesn't look too bad to me. Is he, um, oh, just, no, he's, he, he rocked it up, but I think it's just one now. I think he's just pushed Mervyn's in a little bit when he rocked it up. But still one to uh, Ian and Dan. There's a lovely little gap in there. I think Dan will be looking to just fill that little gap. Well, well, he wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't far.
Well, Dan's trying here. Is he in that gap? Oh, great ball. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely what he was trying to do. Just get in there first and, and block that hand up for Sam because Sam would have done the same thing. So it's making it a lot more difficult now for Sam to get in there to get the shot, but he's still got, I think he's got three balls left. Yeah. Tough shot though, because there's not much of a target. So Dan now switching to the forehand. And if he could, if he could uh, touch the jack. Oh, what an effort that was. So I see the shot that he's playing here, so it's just a bit wide, I think. So it looks like Ian and Dan are holding shot with the green one, with the green ball, that's Ian's ball, that one. see what Sam can do here. Looks like he's just going to go for a dead draw, is he? So a single again for Dan and Ian. So the score is now 11-7. So now only four shots in it. So a good start by Ian Wones. His first bowl, probably about eight, eight or ten inches. But Mervyn comes back with a, a really good reply. So for those of you that don't know, uh, Mervyn is in the top 16. So Mervyn is actually playing at Scotland, in Scotland, in 
in a couple of weeks' time in the Scottish Open. So he'll be playing up there. I can't remember who he has to play. If somebody can just let me know in the comments. I can't remember who he's playing, who, um, who he drew to play up there. But yeah, Mervyn is playing in the uh, Scottish Open. And then he's also playing at Potter's in January as well. So as he is still in the top 16, he's going to be looking to get some ranking points. So any player in the top 16, they need to win at least one game in order to get ranking points. And that's how they stay in the top 16. So uh, yeah, Mervyn will be trying his very hardest to win his first game so he can get some ranking points which helps him to stay in the top 16 so you'll be able to watch Mervyn definitely at Potter's in January obviously everything gets televised every game on the on the portable rink gets televised but the Scottish Open if if it is the same as last year then not every game gets televised there will be a show rink and whoever's on the show rink that will get televised but every other game won't be live streamed so uh, yeah the Scottish Open will be will be coming up soon oh, a great ball by Ian Wones there on play the end What an effort by Mervyn. What an effort that is. Tell you, they've had some absolutely brilliant heads in this game so far. And the score is, as you can see, you can probably see the score at the back there, 11-7. So 11-7 to Sam and Mervyn. Dan's trying here. What an effort. What's <laughs> up? Yeah. 
Sam and Mervyn just picked up another single, so the score is now 12-7. So 12-7 to Sam and Mervyn. So here we go again. So they've now completed 13 ends. So Stephen just said uh, the Scottish Open will be on the World Bowls Tour YouTube channel every game, I believe. Well, I hope that's the case, Stephen, because last year the only games that were actually streamed were the ones that were on the show rink, and that is normally how it works. Uh, I mean, a couple of years ago, the, the setup for the uh, Scottish was you had a portable rink, the same as uh, Potter's. But uh, I think from last year and the year before that, I think from then, they've changed uh, clubs and locations. So now you don't play on a portable rink anymore. It's just a normal bowls green, uh, a normal bowls club. But one of the rinks, they cordon it off with um, advertising boards both sides. And, and that rink is then the actual show rink. So that's what happened last year and uh, the year before that, I believe. But we'll see what happens this year. I mean, yeah, I mean, if the World Bowls Tour stream every single game, that would be superb. I mean, brilliant. You can watch every single game then. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, well played, Marvin. So Ian is trying here. What an effort. Oh, he's just... Yeah, has he just gone through? Well, it's almost a length. That could be the one. Yeah, I think that is the one. Well played, Ian. So Mervyn with his last bowl. So he cracked it with his third bowl. So see what he can do here. I think. Right. Yeah, just a couple of feet. Yeah, so if Ian can trail that jack, 
even six or seven inches, that'd be perfect. Tuck that away for three shots. And uh, he's just going to go slightly through. Uh, good effort, though. They've got all the back bowls, that's the main thing. They're holding one, and they've got two just behind, so... Yeah, so not bad. Let's see what Sam can do here. Sam's never far away. Well, oh, well, okay. It's probably a little bit better now for Dan and Ian because it's now only a couple of inches from the from Ian's bowl. And if Dan can get just in front of this. Pace is good, Dan. Outside bowl. 18 inches to go. Pace the cake if you want. This time. Yeah, nice the weight off. Yeah, not a lot, yeah. Yeah, three or four feet. So both players just trying to find the right line at the moment. Oh, still a chance for Dan in here because if he gets this right, this could be three shots. Yeah, good effort here, Dan. What an effort this is. Oh, what an effort. Dear, oh dear. on that jack and that could be worth four shots so big shot here So also something else just to let you all know. So potentially we have some, well, we do have some good news potentially. So next month uh, is the grand final at Potter's for the open single circuit. So the top 32 will be uh, playing it out at Potter's on the 25th and 26th of November in the main arena. So we might be live streaming it with two cameras. So I'm just I'm just uh, in the process. I'm just waiting for confirmation. So it isn't 100% at the moment, uh, but. Yeah, hopefully 
everything goes okay and we are given the go-ahead to stream it to live stream so uh, I've obviously had to speak to the EIBA they need to give me the go-ahead the official go-ahead and then clear it with potters and then uh, we'll be good to go so that might be happening next month and if that does go ahead then yeah that should be a really good couple of days of live streams but we will see what happens as I say don't take that as 100% that's something that we're uh, going to be finding out about hopefully in the next couple of weeks and we can get given the go ahead to go and do that it would be really good to stream them games Obviously, I'm just around the corner from Potter's anyway. I live about eight minutes away. So, uh, so yeah, it would be, be nice to get up there and, and stream them games. There would be lots of great players. So that'll be the top 32 players out of the Open Singles Circuit Tournament. So that's, that's the uh, money tournament. So you... You play in various competitions all over the country. There's lots down south, some up north, Hartlepool sort of areas, and and lots in the Midlands, and some sort of towards Wales as well. And every single year, whoever finishes in the top 32 will automatically qualify for the grand final at Potters in November. This is nothing to do with the World Championships on the portable rink. This is nothing to do with that. This is completely separate. And this will be end of November. So we will wait and see. And uh, hopefully we are given, we are going to be given the go-ahead to go and do that. I'm, I'm just currently waiting for permission for us to be able to stream it. And, uh, and then we can start to organize everything for that weekend. And by then, we will definitely have two cameras in place because, as I said to you earlier, that's something that I'm going to possibly be doing from next week. It's having two cameras in place. I'll probably, end, I'll probably test that at Acle first. So I just need to find a game to live stream in the next seven or eight days. And uh, what a bowl. Well played, Dan. Well played. So if you would like to be the guinea pig and you've got a game coming up at Akel in the next six or seven days we played so I don't know what happened then but looks like uh, Sam touched the jack. I don't know who actually holds. So as I was saying a few moments ago, yeah, if you've got any games coming up at Akel, then uh, just let me know because I'm looking to stream a game over the next six or seven days when we, where we can uh, test our full system, a camera either end. So that will be really good. And then once that's proven and we've done at least one live stream, Once we've done at least one live stream using our new system, 
then uh, I'll probably roll it out to other clubs around Norfolk. So that'll more than likely be Gallo and Akel. But what I do have to do is be be um, be a little bit careful the places I go to to actually use the uh, the two cameras set up. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it here at the bowling club because I don't think the signal is good enough to be able to use my router because I'm going to have to connect my computer and two phones. Oh, what an effort that was. It's hard to know who lays. I think Ian and Dan still lay one. But uh, Sam's in the area here, so it just depends what happens. Oh, dear. Well, this certainly isn't a very high-scoring game. Well, Mervyn's picked them up. Amy, uh, Amy just asked, um, who else is playing tonight? Well, Amy, I will show you the rest of the green. It's actually pretty quiet now. There was another singles game going on earlier. So it's just us in here at the moment now. So this is the national pairs, men's, men's national pairs, round one. Sam King and Mervyn King against Ian Wones and Dan, Danny Ransbottom. Mervyn and Sam, of course, play out of Gallo and Ian and Dan play here out of the Norfolk Bowling Club. Ian's pace is, looks better. I think he's just going to go through, but it's, yeah, it's just finished four feet through now. It's certainly better there than it is three or four feet short. Always has a little bit of value if it's just through. Uh, Mervyn's got another one in there, so looks like uh, he holds a couple at the moment, but still tons of space really. Ian's still a little bit pacey, I think, but he might end up. Well, no, he's just. It's gone through 18 inches. <laughs> Too bad. It's just almost the same, yeah. Just didn't want to stop. But it's finished well. But still plenty of space in there, really, for Ian. Yeah, I think Ian's close here. Ah, oh, well played, Ian. Ah, oh, great bowl. Yeah. 
He made hard work of that, he just said. But now, when he got there in the end, the only thing is, though, he's now kind of framed it for Sam. As much as Ian's holding the shot now, that is quite a big target because Sam can now afford to just play just, just over, just reach in there now. Any sort of connection and uh, any connection onto that jack. Yeah, and that's exactly what I... Th yeah, so... So another one in there, really, I think, for Dan and Ian. Ian's bowl is looking a little bit lonely, so... Yeah, anywhere in there is going to finish well. Yeah, that's finished very, very well. Well played, Dan. That's finished perfect. That's in the count, and also it's just behind. Great effort by Sam. Oh, great effort. So see what Dan can do here. He was not far away of his last bowl. He was probably three feet. What effort this is. Oh, what an effort. What a head of balls that is. Nice track. Big effort this. Big effort this time. Yes, it'll help short, I think. Oh, what an effort. That would have come in, I think, for second shot. So if you're not already subscribed to Bowls TV, then it would really help us out. If you uh, can subscribe to our YouTube channel, it would be very much appreciated. It's completely free to do so. All you need to do, uh, great start by Mervyn. Uh, brilliant, well played. Yeah, it's completely free to subscribe. You just go to the YouTube channel, click subscribe, and just click the bell icon so you get notified of any future games that are coming up and this really helps us to grow as a YouTube channel. What an effort, well played Ian. Oh, I think he's still just one to uh, Mervyn.
Uh, three good bowls by Mervyn. So I think Ian is still one down here. And he's he's just going to play. I think he's playing just over in there just to disturb something. Mervyn and Sam are just trying to decide. Mervyn wants to have a little bit of a pop at the at the green bowl. But I don't think Sam was uh, over ambitious about that. <laughs> so he sort of said, well, play what you see. And, uh, and now Mervyn's putting one at the back. So I think Sam's going to be trying that shot when he goes down. Yeah, and I think that was the right thing to do. Yes, it's finished well there. So Mer Mervyn's got three within about 18 inches and he's put one round the back. So I think Sam is going to, his first one, I think Sam's going to run at this. But Dan's going to have a little pop at this first because I think he needs to change the angles here. Because it doesn't look, doesn't sit extremely well at the moment yeah and it's just gone to Mervyn's last bowl so Sam is now just got a, a dead draw in there really They're holding one, and they're 39 up on the game. So two ends left to play. Uh, national pairs is is just uh, it's just 18 ends. So Ian and Dan need to pick up. They need to win this end, and they really need at least a, uh, at least a two, I would say, to to stand a good chance going into the last end. Trying to get a three from Mervyn and Sam is, is going to be tough. Well, Dan's trying here. Dan is trying really. Oh, what an effort that is. Well, yeah, so I certainly changed the angle slightly. What an effort this is. What an effort this is. If he holds, is it? Oh, it's going to go. Oh, dear. Well, this line looks fairly good. Yeah, I'll play Dan. I've played. So, he's drew the shot. So, if it stays like this, going into the last end, Ian and Dan will need a three. And I think, I think Sam is going to be, yeah, I think Sam will definitely be running at this. It just depends what sort of pace he decides to play. I can't, 
can't see Sam and Mervin going any more than two down here, uh, any more than one down here, because I think they've got two just behind. So, yeah. Oh, what an effort that was. Oh, dear. Great effort. So, well, 13-10. So, Mervyn and Sam still got a big advantage going into this last end. Three shots up. But you just don't know. You never know. So 13, 10 to, oh, great start. That's exactly, yeah, that's, that's number one. I just need two more now. It's very difficult to get any kind of count against Mervyn and Sam because me and my partner uh, earlier this year, me and Tim Stone played Mervyn and Sam in the area final and very, very difficult to get any any kind of count against them. I think the most we, we picked up was a two out of 18 ends. Oh, oh dear. Okay, well, still a couple. Well. Oh, great effort by Mervyn. Is he just going to go through? Oh, just round the back, but only gone through 18 inches. So Ian would love to absolutely nail this. Just get another one right on the jack. Did I talk it up? Oh, well played. Yeah, still a little bit of space in there though. Plenty of room for Mervyn, really. As we all know, Mervyn is a brilliant draw player. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Mer Mervyn's got two bowls left, and uh, you fancy Mervyn to get one in here, really, with his, one of his two bowls. He's never far away. Well, not a lot. Cool. Uh, great effort, Mervyn. So just pulled up, probably about 12 inches, that's all. Uh, yeah, well played, Ian. Well, Ian's done as much as he can. Yeah, Ian's done as much as he can here. He's got four bowls within 14 inches. So, yeah, well played, Ian Wones. So he's certainly putting the pressure on. I mean, Mervyn and Sam are now thinking about what Mervyn should do with his last bowl. Okay, well, he's pushed one of them slightly out. I think it still could be three, but see what Dan can do here.
Yeah, he could be in, yeah. One bowl, even absolutely perfect. You're in the count. In the count, yeah, well played, Dan. Oh dear, oh dear. Still four down. Would you believe it? He was on target and you would never have thought that he would have been still four down after that bowl. Oh, Dan's trying here. What a bowl this is, Dan. Oh, well played, Dan. What a bowl. Oh, what a bowl. Oh, dear, oh dear. What a way to finish. <laughs> well, there you go, everybody. End of game. Sam just pulled out an absolute belter. Ran the jack straight through into the ditch and he sat within about three inches. And there was no way that Ian and Dan could have got um, a three. So, uh, yeah, he sat, sat right on top of the jack. Yeah, brilliant last bar by, by Sam. So, that is it, everybody. So uh, thanks for tuning in tonight. I hope everybody enjoyed the second half of the game. First half was just a complete and utter disaster. Uh, but we know we know for next time, when we come to the Norfolk Bowling Club, we can't use the router. It's just a complete no-go. This is a an ultimate, This is a complete dead zone for the router. So uh, if I do stream any more games up here I'm going to have to use just my phone and my mobile data for now but we will have to think about things moving forward and see what we decide so uh, thanks everybody and don't forget you can uh, check out more games on our YouTube channel we've got lots more games on there so you can go back and watch lots of other games that we've uh, streamed over the last few months so you can have a look through all the previous games tons of great games in there lots of singles games pairs triples fours you name it it's all in there we should have some games coming up next week there isn't any games this weekend that i'm going to live stream because uh, s tomorrow is the liberty that's going to be norfolk against suffolk and also here at the bowling club it is the athlete i believe the the athlete uh, the ladies will be playing here as well so uh, good luck to them and uh, see if uh, Norfolk can uh, come away with a win tomorrow from Ipswich uh, Norfolk against Suffolk tomorrow in the Liberty if you do want to stay up to date on any future live streams obviously make sure you're subscribed but you can go to our YouTube channel click on live and any games that we've got coming up will be on there failing that you can stay up to date on our facebook page bowls tv or also you can go to the bowls talk norfolk on facebook as well bowls talk norfolk or bowls tv on facebook both of those pages you can stay up to date with lots of games that will be going on all around norfolk over the next few months and last thing I will just say is this is possibly my last stream that I'm going to do with just one phone. 
the next game I'm going to stream, I'm going to try and stream it with both both cameras, either end of the rink. So hopefully that'll be a huge game changer and a massive improvement to how you watch the games on your TV and, and your phone and your laptops. So thanks everybody for tuning in. That's it from me and f from uh, Bowls TV tonight here at the Norfolk Bowling Club in Norwich. Thanks for watching. Apologies about the start of the game. I know it was it, it was out of my control really, but we got there in the end. Lots of things to think about moving forward to improve things. So enjoy the rest of your evening and we look forward to seeing you on our next live stream whenever that may be, some, maybe sometime next week. Thanks for watching and take care everybody. Bye for, bye for now.